Mark Spencer here from AppleMotion.net and RippleTraining.com with a t- quick tip about transparency and motion. So I often see a lot of questions about people who are exporting movies from motion in order to use them in Final Cut Pro, and they say, hey, I exported my movie, I put it in Final Cut Pro on top of my video, and I don't have transparency. I cannot see the video underneath my motion project. So here's a couple tips on how to deal with this. So I have a little project here with a little lower third that I want to place over some video in Final Cut Pro. Now, the first thing to do is to make sure that you actually have transparency in motion. One way to do that is to go up to the channels pop-up menu up here and choose transparent or shift T. And if you have transparency, you'll have this black and white checkerboard where there's transparency. Another option is to choose alpha or shift A and wherever there's transparency, it'll be black. And wherever there's uh, not transparency, there's opaque graphics, you'll see uh, white or shades of gray for partial transparency. So you can see that this project does have transparency. I'm going to go back to color to see the full project. And you might wonder, wait a minute, how can it have transparency? There's this big color back here. So that's the second thing just to double check. If you checked for transparency and you didn't have any, it may be because your background color is set to be solid. So I'm going to go to the edit menu and I'm going to go to project properties. And here in project properties, we have a background color that normally is set to black by default, but this is set to a different color so that this black ink spots show up. And you can see the background is set to transparent, which is the default. But if it were set to solid, which I'll choose now and choose OK, and now I go choose transparent, we don't see any change. If I go choose alpha, the entire screen is white because there is no transparency in this at all. So even though if I go back to color, you might think there's transparency because frequently this background is black and you think, oh, the black is transparent. It may not be if under project properties, your background color is set to solid. So that's the second thing to check. The background color should be set to transparent and then uh, shift A or shift T shows your transparency. Shift C goes back to the full project. Okay, so now we know we have transparency in motion. Great, that's the first thing, we're in good shape. The second thing to do is when you export, if you export, you wanna export to a codec that supports transparency. And for a movie, there's really only two. So I'll go into the file menu and choose export. And one of the options you can choose in this pop-up menu is lossless plus alpha. So if you choose lossless plus alpha, you'll get the animation codec and you'll see it's got the alpha channel. That means the transparency information will be included in the movie that you export. This is gonna be a very big movie, a very high data rate. You won't be able to play it back. Uh, It's not designed to be played back. You can then put that movie into Final Cut and render it into the codec of that Final Cut sequence. Now, what I really suggest instead of animation anymore is instead you choose Apple ProRes 4x4. This is called 4x4 here. And the four fours are, it's in a full 444 color space and the last four is for the alpha channel. So this includes an alpha channel. So if I choose it, you can see 8-bit color plus alpha. The reason this is better is it's a more lightweight codec. It's it's virtually lossless, but you can actually play it back. It's not going to create as big a file. So that's the second thing is, you, first you have to have transparency, second you need to export to a codec that supports transparency. I'm going to cancel that because the third thing is you don't necessarily need to export a movie at all. And this is generally the, what I try to point out to people is, look, don't even bother exporting a movie. If your destination is Final Cut Pro, just save your motion project and bring that motion project itself into Final Cut Pro. So we can save this project here, which I've already saved. Let's go over to Final Cut Pro, and I've imported the motion project. And you can see right here the .motn extension. This is a motion project file. I didn't render out a movie at all. So if I bring that motion project file down into my timeline and put the playhead over it, you can see there that it has transparency because it's the motion project file itself. What's great about using the motion project file in here is if I want to make a change, if I right click on it and choose open an editor, it will launch into motion. I can make a change and that change will automatically update in Final Cut Pro. 
So to me, this is the most efficient workflow is just to bring in the motion project. And then of course you will need to render the motion project to render a movie in the sequence codec when you're done, but you can see that it has transparency. The final little tip is if for some reason you bring in your motion project and you don't see transparency, or you bring in a movie that you know has transparency because it's it's animation codec with alpha or it's ProRes 4x4, and you're wondering, what the heck? I know I've got transparency. Why don't I see it? What you should do is right-click on that motion project or the clip and choose Item Properties. And in Item Properties, there is the alpha right here. And right here, you can see the alpha interpretation is black. It's pre-multiplied with black. Sometimes this may not be correct. If I right-click on that, I have some other options. So if I choose None, you'll see that that transparency goes away. So this means that Final Cut is incorrectly interpreting the alpha channel of uh, this motion clip, this motion project. So sometimes that can happen. So if you bring something in, you don't see the alpha channel, get the item properties, Command 9, or right-click on it, and then right here under the alpha channel, right-click and try one of these other options if it says none, and you should get it back. So between those different options, you shouldn't have any trouble getting transparency out of motion and into Final Cut Pro. Again, my name is Mark Spencer from Ripple Training and AppleMotion.net. If you have any questions, you can uh, ping me directly on my website. Okay, thanks for watching.